Welcome to number eight in this series of short lectures on statistical process improvement and statistical quality assurance. We're at this point discussing measurement and how it affects and how its variation can be quantified <clears throat> using the basic two sample methods of elementary statistics. Uh, we've looked at a couple of examples already in module seven and we're going to carry on with two more in module eight. The first that we're going to consider is this kind of a scenario uh, where, I, where one has a single linear measurement device and makes multiple measurements on measure in number one producing one data set and makes multiple measurements on measure in number two producing a second data set. That first data set might be processed into a sample mean and a sample standard deviation. The second data set processed into a corresponding sample mean and sample standard deviation. The thing to notice about this cartoon, this scenario here, is that data set number one is coming from a data generating mechanism that has mean measure in number one plus device bias, while the second data set is coming from a data generating mechanism that has mean measure in number two plus device bias. And so it's pretty clear that by making a comparison of means, uh, one can actually compare the two measure ends. That is, mean number one minus mean number two is this difference. And by the time one adds in and subtracts out delta, one is left with simply the difference in measure ends. That is, device bias affects both samples in the same way and more or less washes out when one takes a difference, uh, assuming, of course, that the device is linear, that his bias is constant. Another application of uh, two sample methods might be to two samples consisting of single measurements made using a single linear device, but where multiple measure ends are produced by two stable processes. So here's process number one with mean one, standard deviation one, that produces measure ends one through N1 that are seen through measurement device with bias delta, constant bias delta, and a uh, sigma or a, a variability of measure measurement sigma sub device to produce data set number one. A second process has a second mean and a second standard deviation producing a second set of measure ends that are seen through measurement noise producing data set number two. These two data sets might be processed into sample st statistics, Y bar and S, Y bar and S for the two samples. And the thing to notice about this setup is that the first data generating mechanism produces data with mean, that is the first process mean plus device bias. And the second data generating mechanism produces data with mean, the second process mean, plus again the uh, device bias, so that one has two different means that differ by the difference between the two process means. That implies that if I take mean number one, subtract mean number two, uh, I wind up with the difference in the two process means. And so if I apply then the two sample T 
key methodology for estimating uh, a difference in uh, in means, I have an inference for the difference in the two process means. Uh, if I try to apply a uh, two sample F uh, method for estimating a ratio of standard deviations, I'd be estimating this standard deviation divided by that standard deviation. Uh, I'd be estimating this ratio, and that ratio is not particularly easily interpret, interpreted. Uh, unless, of course, the device uh, standard deviation is very small, at which case I'd have essentially there a ratio of the uh, two process standard deviations. To summarize, modules 5 through 8, uh, what we've been doing is looking at elementary statistical uh, methods and using them uh, to illustrate the basic fact that how sources of physical variation interact with data collection uh, governs what you can learn from a data set and in particular how measurement error is, is reflected in the, in the data set.